This yarn does not come off easily, so it is really good yarn. In today's video, we're going to create a crochet dishcloth. It's going to look like just like a slice of toasted bread. This design is inspired by the lemon crochet pattern. For this project, we'll need to use some scrubby yarn. I'm here in the Philippines and I highly recommend using this yarn from Hope Stitch. It is 100% polyester. You can find the shop link of this yarn in the description box below. And we will need 4mm crochet hook, scissor, tapestry needle. To begin, let's create a slip knot and make 17 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. In the second chain from the hook, place a single crochet. This is the first and second. Let us create a single crochet. Continue to single crochet, giving you a total of 16 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. In row 1, we crochet 16 single crochet. And in row 2, just make a chain 1 and turn your work. In row 2 to 14, single crochet in each of the 16 stitches and ending with the turning chain. This is how we make a turning chain. Chain 1 and turn your work. Then, starts with the single crochet again. Do this until row 14. We're done at row 14 and we're going to make row 15. In row 15, chain 1. Then, turn your work. To make our bread a bit bigger, increase with a single crochet in the first and last stitch. Just make 2 single crochet in the same stitch. Then single crochet the rest of the stitches. This is the last stitch, so we were going to make an increase. Make two single crochet in the last stitch. In row 15 has 18 single crochet. Now it's time to make a row 16, chain 1, then turn your work. Increase again in the first and last stitch. That takes us to 20 stitches in total. This is the last stitch, so we're going to make an increase. In row 17 and 18, it's all about maintaining the size. Chain 1 first, then single crochet in each of the 20 stitches for the next 2 rows.
Now we're going to make our own 18. We're done at row 18, so we're going to make row 19. Begin by decreasing in the first two stitches. Then single crochet in the next 7 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. After that, slip stitch in the next 2 stitches. Continue with single crochet in the next 7 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And finally, decrease in the last 2 stitches. Do you see the shape? In row 20, just chain 1 and turn your work. Decrease again in the first 2 stitches. Then single crochet in the next 6 stitches. 1 2 3 5 6 Followed by slip stitching in the next 2 stitches Then single crochet in the remaining 6 stitches 1 2 6 then decrease in the last two stitches then fasten up switch to another color insert your hook here yarn over and pull then make a chain one then make a single crochet around this one In every corner, let us make two single crochet. Don't cut this yet and we're going to sew this together while we're doing our single crochet. This is also the corner. We're going to make two single crochet. This is where we make a slip stitch, so we're going to make a slip stitch also. This is the last. Cut this yarn. Grab your tapestry needle.
As you can see here, I have a big toast dishcloth. That's because I use a double pull here. I double the ply while crocheting, making it bigger than what we made initially. That is one of the function of double pull method. If you wanted to create a larger crochet item, just use the double pull method. This yarn does not come off easily, so it is really good yarn. 